Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This video is about our latest commission project that we did. And this was for a local guy and these armies are for his nephew and son and they're surprised. So hopefully they'll be amazed of our work that we put into them. And here we go. So we have orcs on the right, some salamanders in the middle and some chaos on the left. And I'll take some close-ups. So here are the orcs. We basically had to paint the Assault on Blackreach set, which came with the war boss, 20 boys, five knobs, and three death coptas. So these are the before pictures of the army. And these are what we turned them into. So here's the war boss. Sydney did pretty well. He also custom did all the bases and put his own like shields and made it kind of like ruined terrain because they are orcs. And we did these bases for free. They're just basic, but they are good for tabletop. Uh, so here's a knob, pretty cool. Um, here's another awesome knob. And I'll give you some boys. Here's a shooter, big shooter. He did them to a really nice quality. The guy was impressed when he came over. And this was only done by a 15 year old. So you can imagine, it's really nice. Uh, here's a def copter. Sydney took way too long on these and in the first three days of commission only did them. So he told him he had to speed up to get the other 20 boys done, plus knobs, plus a war boss. So here's the Def Copta, turned out really cool. And there's his face. Yep, so lots of detail on him. He also did the checkers on the rockets and swirls to make them more orky. This one's also cool. There you go, see the swirls at the front? And that's the orcs. So. So here is the picture of the chaos before we got them. And this is what we turned them into. Uh, I really like these guys. Here is the sorcerer. He looks awesome. Put a lot of work to the bases, put some grass at the back on random ones like there. Uh, here we go. These are the chaos. I did these. Uh, it took me a while, the gold was hard to achieve, but I persisted and cleaned up the guy with black after. That's how you do these guys. Paint the details, then finish with black, and it will be a lot easier. So there we go. This guy is pretty awesome. I like his headpiece with hair. Awesome huge gun. We noticed that uh, his son, or whoever played the Chaos, gave them all special weapons, so you got a melted gun here, a plasma, plasma pistol, flamer, heavy bolter, and sergeant with power fist in one group. So that's like a huge, like elite, probably like a chosen squad, I imagine. Uh, yeah, so I don't remember if I showed you this HQ or a lord, I don't know. He's pretty awesome, I love his power fist and his pointing. His helmet turned out awesome. And there he goes. He's, he killed a salamander, which we will show up next. And here's just a thousand sun. Des did these pretty good quality. Uh, here we go. Nice line work on the shoulders. And what's another guy with a nice shoulder? I think that was him. Or oh, here we go. Here's another shoulder. The back of the heads. These are hard to paint. They're a weird yellow and blue. Okay, so here are the salamanders. We learned how to paint these from Epic Duck Mike. And he's from Mini Wargaming, and here you go. So this is the Dreadnought, and you can see the awesome lava work that Sydney did on this base. And we used a bit of this gloss gel 
that is a retardant that is really good for water effect. And that's what made this lava look alive. Awesome, so there you go, that's the dreadnought. Okay, here's a close up of the tactical marines, uh, the salamanders. So we also learned how to do the color from Epic Duck Mike, and it was pretty good, pretty easy, but it turns out amazing, oh my god. And all these bases were done by Sid. I'll give you a higher angle of what they look like. All of them were shaped by me and painted by Sid. So he's our base workman. Okay, so here are the Terminators. There you go, so there's some tactical in the back, but I'll do more higher view of them, see what they look like as a player would see them. So he would see all that awesome lava work all over the board. We really like the facial expression of the sergeant. He's kind of like, go over there! <laughs> In like a crazy, crazy voice or kind of funny. And this would be a tactical, like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> so here is is the captain that I painted. I think it looks amazing. Uh, I did him part of the other guy's steps, so if we were doing the green for their armor, I would do it at the same time. If we were doing red, I would do that. And I did his cape pretty awesomely. This looks molten lava, tons of different textures. And there's his base, which is really awesome. Also lava. Um, the, the Dreadnought and the Captain, their bases were done like another step up, just to show uh, their status, I guess. Um, so here we go. So he has basically a gold eyepiece. And really nice detail on him. Pretty fun to paint. I really like his bolter. He has cool designs right there. That is his banner, looks pretty nice. Go around, that's the back, looks awesome. Okay, so next I'll show you a Terminator Sergeant. Here we go, this looks pretty cool. And this is their armor, so you can see how it turned out like that. Pretty awesome highlighting, just done by simple wash but you have to use it correctly. Uh, there we go, so that's a cool lava base close up. And if you want, we can make a tutorial how to make these bases. They don't take that long, and they turn out awesome. Uh, here is just a simple uh, Terminator. If you want us to paint up some models for you guys, we are a commission painting service running out of Toronto, Canada. And our email is powerrangerpainting at hotmail.com and the Power Ranger is spelt like our YouTube username. Also don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and if you have anything you want to paint please contact us and we'll do it for a fair price. Thank you guys for watching and if you're one of the son or Nephew, enjoy your armies and have fun playing with them. Thank you for watching guys. Have a great